We're at the Waterworks, the historic Waterworks restaurant in Philadelphia. Frederick Graff, who built this in 1812 in a neoclassical design. That's the first thing you notice when you're pulling up. It's just really a splendid vista. You have really breathtaking views of Boathouse Row, the Schuylkill River. The Waterworks is about celebrating a time that was before. At one point in time, the Waterworks was the most visited tourist attraction in America other than Niagara Falls. It was state of the art and people were so wrapped up in seeing the technology for themselves that they were coming from all over the world. At that time, there was nothing like it. And uh, it was like seeing, you know, the space shuttle launch. It wasn't just that there was this great technology. The Waterworks was the original freshwater pumping station for the city of Philadelphia. And it remained so for about uh, almost a century. And then it sat in disrepair for almost 100 years. We opened in 2006. It takes a while to convince people of your dreams. But once they buy in, you see the finished product. The first thing that one would notice when visiting the Waterworks is the grandeur of the place itself. The Breezeway is probably the most romantic room in all of Philadelphia and also home to Table 42, which infamously is the site of over 600 wedding proposals. Beyond the Breezeway, you have the Caretaker's Lounge, which used to be the Caretaker's House. When you're in the Waterworks, I want you to feel as though you're in my home, because for all intents and purposes, you are in my home. There's definitely some Mediterranean hints, some Greek hints, but overall, I think it's the type of place that everyone can come to and enjoy the scenery, the good service, and some pretty impressive food. I'm really proud of my staff. I'm also proud of the fact that we were able to give something back to Philadelphia, something that was an eyesore for so long, a white elephant in many ways. We've been able to give it back, and now it's celebrated.